Hey, it's Saturday. Um, I wanted to get an early start on this week's uh, vlog because it may take me a little longer to do. This week I wanted to uh, go behind the scenes of the, what I'm working on, which is the table, and show you uh, special effects that I'm doing. So uh, let's get going. So what we have here is the special effect that will be in the film, or some version of it. I have the spinning circles with the 1994. Um, that's going to be part of the story, uh, but that whole graphic is the special effect I wanted to share. To do this special effect, I started, I wanted it to look, a lot of my special effects I could do more like graphic artists do, but I like the imperfection of hand-drawn items then placed into the digital world. I just kind of like that. That's my thing, at least right now. So, what did I do? I created the graphic itself. Um, the graphic itself I drew with, uh, I took a styrofoam cup and drew a circle around the big end, then I offset the small end of the styrofoam cup inside the bigger circle, and it resulted in this drawing. So what I have here is just a circle, a couple circles I've drawn with some miscellaneous stuff that I'm going to put into a free photo editor and edit a little bit and then use it for special effects. I put the little lines in there, 1994. My original plan was just to put this graphic in and that would be the graphic. Then I decided that you know, it would be kind of cool if those circles would spin. I said, well, I could redo my asset, which is what this is, just an asset. Or, I could use what I had and see what I could do with it. So, as I put this into a free software called Earthen View, the link will be down below if you want to use this free uh, video software. And I created these two items, the white and the black. Now, how did I do that? I started with this picture. Right? I went ahead and selected the middle of it to try and get most of that loose bends out and everything and I cropped it. So now that I have the cropped image, you can see it's a little blue from the picture I took. So I have to fix that. I need to make this white, very white, because um, the keying that I'm going to use to take out the background in my software requires that this be white and black or black and white either way I'm going to save it both ways so after I crop it I go ahead and convert it to grayscale once I've converted it to grayscale I need to get that back part very white so I have to go down and I have to uh, replace colors All right color replacement and I select that and there's a setting in there that's tolerance and you'll see the tolerance I set that at 25 because that gives me a broad enough tolerance so then uh, we replace that with the white which then gives us a nice clean white background now we can also go and make save it like this and then we can also save it with a negative so that we have a white uh, outline with a black background we do it with all channels and there we go that way we can save it that way as well. Now we can save uh, a white and a black asset. Next thing that I do is I use HitFilm uh, to actually do all my video editing. There is a free version called HitFilm Express. I use HitFilm Pro, but HitFilm Express is free and it has a lot of the same tools. As you see, the video is spinning. Um, because I started and stopped at the same point on the rotation, I can extend it by just copying and putting it there and then placing the still image at the end of the song. So how did I make this? Well it's got three layers and I'm going to turn off the top two layers and you see we start with a black plane. It's just a flat black plane. I then put a copy of it over the top and I masked out the inner circle. So you can see there it's actually masked out so when it's masked out you see the black plane behind it and that black plane is important because the luminance key. So then on top of that I put the uh, the inner circle which um, I masked, which 
by taking the mask off I'm not showing you anything um, let me go back and put the mask on and I will show you exactly what we're looking for here there we go so you see with the mask on it's just the circle inner circle so when we uh, the next thing we have to do is get them to rotate so I have them rotating in different directions and I had to play with these speeds so I ended up with three rotations um, on the inner and two on the uh, exterior circles for them to spin in different directions you have the negative two on the, that one and the positive two on the other so that they spin in opposite directions and that's the graphic you get and as you can see what I do here is I actually apply a luminance key. Now the luminance key you have some adjustments you can make just to tweak it out and I'm keying out darker. You can select darker or lighter. Uh, if you were using the black if you wanted the black font of it you would use the you'd use the opposite but as you see here the luminance key takes out the dark. That's why it has to be absolute black or absolute white. Um, if you key out lighter then you would have a black 1994 with a circle on it and you would have then um, the white background being keyed out. And so that's how I made my graphic. If you have questions about this kind of stuff, it's, it's fairly straightforward, at least in um, hit film. I'm sure you can do the same thing in any of the other uh, video editors, whatever you use. I just happen to use hit film. Um, so there you go. That's how the graphic that will be in my very short film about the table will be, uh, will be made. Remember that I love you. Take care of yourself. Rock on.